Good money, baby. Yeah, I'm working from home. I'm working from home right now. I'm working from home. I wanted to get on here really quick. I believe Nelly Sai, y'all. Let me tell you why. And not to keep going on about this, but this is a business lesson. So that's the reason why I'm all over it. Because there's so many business lessons in this thing, dog. So from the beginning, the orchestrator, which is Ali, right? He's the, he was the oldest. He was the manager. He didn't connected all these people to these people, right? So he's the orchestrator, okay? So from the beginning, the orchestrator had them guys sign a fucked up deal. You know when you're on a local level, you go to these showcases, especially back in the day, showcases used to be the shit. Uh... What was it? Streetwise Entertainment. It was a bunch of showcases where they would bring like industry execs and give people the opportunity to showcase their talent in front of talent scouts. So boom, that's how you meet up with people like this. That they signed a fucked up deal with those people in the beginning, which a lot of people make that same mistake. When they on their way off, they make the same mistake. They so quick to sign some shit. They not reading shit or being misled by Ali as nigga. And you end up signing your life away or your publishing rights away unconsciously, blindly, okay? Blind leading the blind type shit. So that's what happened in the beginning, all right? Now, when they scouting the deals, when they looking for the major deals, they decide that the lunatics as a whole is not as marketable as if they, um, like the way that they can push Nelly. Nelly was more marketable. He had the looks, the swag. Not saying that the other guys didn't. It just was not their time. Okay? Now, Nelly had to buy himself out of that badass deal that Ali had them in. He had to pay $75,000 to buy his publishing rights back. Before Country Grammar album came out. Otherwise, he wouldn't have got no fucking money. He would have been an Ali ass nigga. But he bought his publishing back. Boom. Big business lesson. You buy your shit back if that's what it takes. Because you want to keep getting paid. You want to get paid. Okay. Nobody else bought their publishing back. A few other people, I guess. He said that CD Spud was sitting in jail getting publishing checks. But the dudes on stage performing wasn't getting paid because they signed their publishing away. Big business lesson. Okay. Ali is in this group, STL versus Ali. He and that motherfucker going back and forth with everybody trying to defend his position of ignorance. He then posted a picture of a, uh, the, uh, LLC paperwork, right? So the LLC shows that Nelly is the organizer of Dirty ENT. So here go Ali. See, um, I'm not the president. I'm not the president. See, that's just like somebody promising they're going to marry you and never do. But yet, it's a president on your fucking Facebook page. You're the president of Dirty ENT. Second of all, just because Nelly organized it, does not mean that he can't appoint positions. Okay, this is chess, not checkers, Ali. I'm sorry. Nelly is the organizer. Okay, he can appoint whoever he wants. He can appoint a treasurer, a president, a CEO, a COO. He can do whatever he wants. Okay, and then if you making a big deal of a Nelly name being on an LLC organ organization, it's him being the organizer of the LLC on the Articles of Organization, nigga, it costs $50. Why the fuck didn't you just do that shit? Why the fuck didn't you just go pay for the LLC, Ali, since you want your name on every motherfucking thing, nigga? It probably was a blessing your name on every ain't on everything. So that's what I mean. People need to learn how to play their positions. Ali was clearly an orchestrator in the beginning, meaning pulling strings. Meeting people, uh, connecting people so they can meet, okay? But now all of a sudden, this nigga want to be a rapper. I can't stand you niggas. Y'all see something working for somebody else and think that it'll work for you. It don't work like that. It do not work like that. 
Quinn Reynolds says, even Murphy Reese said Nelly was paying for everything. Right. Nelly was paying for everything. Ali, he made you president of Dirty ENT. Why the fuck ain't you scouting talent, dog? What are you doing? You just flashing the title. I'm president. And sitting back. Waiting on Nelly next move. Well, you want Nelly to scout the uh, talent too? First of all, Nelly never had the intentions of being a solo artist. That's just how it unfolded. So Nelly didn't have the intentions of having a nigga up under him, per se, like other niggas do. I get it. Yo Gotti, he brings CMG, other people, you know. But that ain't everybody's intentions as a rapper. Everybody don't have to do that. You ain't got to put nobody on. Fuck these niggas. They wouldn't do it for you, period. But, um, so Ali and this motherfucking group going back and forth with everybody trying to, um, trying to defend his ignorance. They pulled out the LLC. Nigga, why didn't you do that? It's only $50. You could have did that. And your name would have been listed as the organizer since you want your name on every motherfucking thing. Okay? You ignorant ass nigga. That's how I know. That's why I believe Nelly's story. Nelly was stating facts. Nelly was stating facts. Nelly was talking about the paperwork. Ain't that what y'all talk about in the streets? The paperwork. And that's why a lot of niggas' money be fucked up because they don't do their paperwork, baby. Ali, you supposed to read this business book, but you don't even know the basics of an LLC. The fuck wrong with you, dog? Steady trying to go back and forth with people, talking about Nelly lying. You know, and then it's so childish. He posting clips of the interview. See, whenever he scratched the side of his face, he lying. Possible. I don't know if this to get you and Luke to sit down to even have a conversation, not even about beef. Nigga, get the fuck out of here. And anybody that was falling for the shit, the stunt that Ali pulled, y'all just some cloud chasers too. Y'all just some penis riders too, obviously. One dude in the group told my man, I fuck with Ali. He came in the store one day and bought everybody snacks. You fruitcake ass nigga. Quinn Reynolds says, what is crazy is Nelly made sure everybody got an album deal. On me. Now that's some real nigga. Now that was trill. That was trill. And I feel Nelly. I can just imagine the pressure. You in there, you got y'all going in there, y'all a group. So you got the intentions, we finna get a group deal, blah, blah, blah. But to your surprise, that ain't how God wanted it. God wanted Nelly to be the star. So therefore, Nelly like, damn, it, that's pressure. He might have felt a little guilty a little bit. You know them niggas was giving him backlash. You know them niggas was hating on him. That's how they do. They be hating right in your face. When they feel like they should be in that position. I can't stand you niggas. Play your role. Erica Clemens says those dudes were straight hating on Nelly. They were. Play your role, dog. Because all y'all was still affiliated with Nelly. He still introduced y'all to people that he didn't have to. Nigga, ain't nobody getting my daddy connect. I don't give a fuck. Ebony Wright says they don't read. You see the rest sign without him when they thought it was beneficial to them. On me. They went and signed a deal behind his back and he had to clean up that mess. Okay? He had to clean up that mess. Nelly, you ain't got to carry these niggas no more. This been a long way. A long... You been doing this shit too long, dog. And like I said, the biggest lesson that all of us can learn from this same lunatic shit is cut them niggas off early. Cut them off early and you won't have a burden of an Ali ass nigga on riding your back, watching your pockets all your career, baby. Cut them off early. I don't give a fuck what they say, what they did. They did all kind of snake shit behind that man back and he still was giving. And the way them niggas um, ridiculed Nelly in that interview, I can imagine how they did Jesus. I can imagine how they did Jesus. This man sitting here telling his truth and they trying to tell him how his life went. Like, them niggas weren't even there. <sighs> y'all need to watch what y'all seeing. Y'all need to watch what you're seeing. Because people could 
pull a hard, pull the fucking wool over your eyes if you're not paying attention. Like Ali dumbass and put a piece of paper on a LLC and for anybody who don't know business or know nothing about business will fall for that shit just because they see Nelly's signature on there and it don't say Ali on there nowhere. But little do you know, if you're an organizer of an organization, you can appoint whoever the fuck you want as a president, as a treasurer, as a um, secretary, you can appoint whoever you want. Okay? Tamika Gregory says that's exactly how STL motherfuckers act like you owe them something. Oh, my mama. You don't owe these bitch ass niggas nothing. They be sitting there waiting on your next move. Like, bitch, get up and do your part. Okay? Trip Jack says they was slow as the new edition. <laughs> Hey, and like I said, in the beginning, you don't know. You just got this talent. You going with the flow. We've all been there. If you if you doing something out here, we've all been there. We going with the flow. We having fun. We in a group of people. And they were young back then. If Nelly was 30 and older at the time when that shit happened, that nigga probably wouldn't have been falling for that. Because at this point, we got more responsibility. We got more kids and bills. Nigga, I'm not finna keep carrying no overgrown ass niggas. Period. Ebony Wright says, ninjas want to keep holding their hand even when you fed them breakfast. I'm a mama, lunch and dinner. I'm not feeding your ass tomorrow. You ate off of me yesterday. Damn, on me. But again, Nelly was probably feeling guilty a little bit. And that's why I said, don't let people uh, guilt you out of your shine, baby. They're going to try to make you feel guilty. Like, see, man, we, if it wasn't for me, you know. And it's true. Ali probably did connect Nelly with the people who got Nelly on. But that was God's plan. Y'all forget how God worked through people. Okay? And that's Ali fought for fucking up the opportunity. Period. Kick rocks. You got paid. Get the fuck on. Tamika Gregory says, I love my city, but they mind frames fucked up and took... Took for me to leave there to realize it. And Ali ain't even hurt. Starting shit in St. Louis. And he ain't even hurt. I don't think none of the niggas hurt. Good morning, Dalo. Starting all this drama and shit in our city. We didn't move forward. Well, nobody wasn't even thinking about this shit. We knew the uh, lunatics was washed up. Okay? Now we trying to bring a new wave of artists, a new wave of um, people who doing something out of St. Louis. And Ali, you still want to entangle us with your bullshit because you faking fallouts, nigga. You stress having strokes and high blood pressure because you just realized you fucked up the biggest opportunity of your life that you would never get again. Tamika Gregory says you need to do a podcast. I do have a podcast. I actually have two podcasts. And I'm not going to use this video to advertise or whatever, but this one is Don Davis Presents Talk Your Spit. That was my podcast over in my city, my music, where the country-ass niggas who did the podcast and interviewed Nelly, that's where they do their interview, and they do their shit for clout. Tell them I said it. They do all that shit for clout. They weren't listening to what that man was saying. They too busy. Oh, we had 200. We had 300. Too busy worrying about how many fucking viewers you got instead of listening to the man who dropping knowledge and gems to your dumb ass. And for other people who wanted to hear what he had to say, okay? We can always use a business key in life. And that's why them niggas ain't gonna never be successful that podcast because they don't know business. They don't know when to take shit serious. They don't know how to do business. They don't know what the fuck they doing down there if you ask me. I was the only podcast popping in it that was had substance. Put it like that. My shit had substance, nigga. I ran my shit like a business down there, and I ain't like that shit. I was a huge threat to everybody down there. So anybody that want to know, that's why I left my city, my music. Because I'm not a fucking cloud chaser. And I take journalism very serious. And they don't. So I don't fit in with shit like that. That's why I always do my thing solo. Okay? But people be fucking up when they got a great right in their face that they can learn so much from. They be fucking up. They got a person right in their face. Yeah. Like I said, Quinn Reynolds said, no wonder, no, he wondering why his trunk ain't in the front. <laughs> and then he wondered why his trunk ain't
Wayne in the front and Nelly's in the front and he is in the back. Like Nelly said, he ne Nelly never quit the group. Ali has a million and one motherfucking times. And I believe Nelly. You keep faking these fallouts and all this bipolar shit, nigga. I believe him. Period. We seeing it with our own eyes. Okay? So we got to stop trying to make it seem like Nelly ain't did nothing for them. Nelly did everything for them. Nelly did too much for them, if you ask me. Nelly handicapped their ass. And, that, and Ali probably got a handicap sticker in his... Rear view mirror right motherfucking now, if you ask me, baby. Period. He handicapped them niggas. Okay? It's not Nelly fault that they shit didn't go platinum and all that. That lets you know right there who was the chosen one. Okay? At that point, that was out of Nelly control. People bought Nelly albums. Ali, you think Nelly bought all his own albums? Nigga, you probably should have used the money Nelly gave you to buy some of your albums and maybe it would have did better. Sick of this shit. Then he and this group going back and forth with everybody. Now that lets you know right there what kind of nigga he is. You and this group going back and forth with everybody, trying to defend your ignorance, sounding even more stupid. Sounding even more stupid. Going in there talking about all my wife and her. Let me tell you who all I cheated on while we was together. You a clown ass nigga for that, dog. Do that shit on your own time. Niggas is really invested in this shit and take it serious. Cause we we grinding. K Stack says Nelly is Nelly the Beyonce of the group. I'm my mama. It kills me, sis. It kills me. Good morning, cuz all it kills me how people Try to make it seem like they don't know who the chosen ones are. They try to make it seem like they don't know who the chosen ones are out of these groups. Yeah, niggas may be talented. Some niggas may be woke, but everybody ain't chosen. Everybody ain't chosen. You cannot sit up here and tell me Nelly ain't the chosen one out that group. You cannot sit up here and tell me Beyonce ain't the chosen one out that group. Okay? And then they work they ass off. I mean, Kelly was cute. She cute and all, but she don't go hard like Beyonce. She don't get that performance like Beyonce do. Okay? The, uh, the lunatics, they cute and all, but they don't go hard like Nelly do. They ain't got that swag and sophistication like Nelly do, baby. You would never see another lunatic on the fucking dancing with the stars. Get off of that man dick. Quinn Reynolds says, only person... That did, who did something was Murphy Lee. He went platinum. Nelly got him on the Welcome to Atlanta remix, right? And he did some other things. And Nelly, hold up, he, he said he did some other things. Nelly was assigned to. Right. So, and I do too, Tamika. I love that music, don't get me wrong. But again, your talent will fail you if you're not skilled. If you don't have the business mindset to carry your talent, It'll fail you, baby. Okay? Motherfuckers in the music business to make money and sell albums. Not to be cute and be talented and lyrical. Okay? We want to sell. We want to keep, you know, we want to bring revenue in. People could rap and be talented, but they're not skilled. You got to have a whole package. Nelly had the whole package. And then the timing. Everything is about, y'all forget timing is everything. So if them niggas would have played that position, they already had one of they niggas in the door. Nigga, play your position. Run the studio. Uh, Ali, go scout some artists. Like, damn, none of you niggas was being creative with y'all minds. Y'all too busy focused on what the fuck Nelly was doing. After Nelly signed that major deal, he had major responsibilities. He didn't have time to be... Baby, and you niggas, he got loans to pay back. They advance you money when you sign a record label deal. That means you got to get on your motherfucking grind and pay that shit back or you going to end up dead or... Y'all know how grimy that music industry is. We got millions of dollars on the line. Not no local ass, thousand dollar ass Ali niggas. Quinn says, I meant to say he wasn't signed to Nelly. Oh, Murphy Lee wasn't signed to Nelly. Yeah, that was some other shit, too. But see, that wasn't never Nelly's intention. We forget. They all went in as a group. 
The labels chose Nelly. Nelly's intention was never to have niggas under him. That was not his intention. That's just how things unfolded. Uh, Patricia Wilder says, I just said the same shit. Get off his dick, period. Move around. I mean. K Stack says, Nelly knew he had to get that white money, too. On oh, my mama, Nelly's smart. <laughs> black people don't even support other black people. You better get other races on your side and on your team. You will be a motherfucking fool if any person in business, if you only relying on your race, especially the black race, how, how, how often or how short or what is the uh, dollar circulation? In the black community, uh, Darrell Washington says Nelly was Cisco. <laughs> Murphy Lee was the fat dude that could sing his ass off but didn't have that flair on me. So, again, the chosen ones, y'all, we got to stop trying to take that away from them, dog. Quit trying to act like you don't know who the chosen ones is. Okay? Quit fucking doing it. I hate that. Everybody, you can be great within your own purpose for what you stand for. You don't have to step on somebody else's toes and you don't have to mock or mimic somebody else. Ebony Wright says, Ali is the only one complaining as usual. Right. He always complaining and whining and bitching and he the oldest one. Nigga, you should have stayed. You should have played your role as a manager. Stop trying to be a rapper. Niggas kill me. Love to want to be in front. And that's all the fuck, they, they got exactly what they want, y'all. This is what they wanted. They wanted to be famous. They never wanted to be paid, nigga. It's a difference. They wanted to be famous. They never wanted to be paid. They got their fame. Now kick rocks. Get the fuck on, nigga. Travis Nelson says, stop saying nigga so much. Nigga, bye. Jasmine Curl, what's up, baby? Look, y'all. All I'm saying is, know your business, do your paperwork, cut these niggas off early, do whatever you got to do to protect your business ideas, do whatever you got to do to protect your energy, um, do whatever you got to do to protect your content, because a lot of people will hold that against you, motherfuckers holding on to my shit right now, still don't want to give me my shit, but it's cool, I don't know what you think you're going to do with it, but get sued with your dumb ass, but, um, yeah, y'all, I just, um, St. Louis nigga shit, boy. Ebony Wright says people will hate because we both had an interview, but I got the job. Oh, my mama! We both got the interview, but I got the job. Look, I was studying to become a stockbroker. Now, everybody get the same opportunity, the same testing shit, the same, you know what I'm saying? The testing material, all that. But everybody didn't pass. You had motherfuckers mad at me because I passed the stockbroker test. Baby, I studied. Okay, baby, what did you do? You fucked off. Jasmine Curl says, just keep the train well oiled. <laughs> that's it. Play your shit correct. That's it. On me. That's all you have to do. Ali. If you would have played your position, my dude, you would be straight. You would be straight. People make more money behind the scenes, nigga. People make more money behind the scenes, okay? If you rest Because <laughs> I hate when people try to come on my shit and tell me what to say. Why are you even watching me if you don't like what I'm saying? This ain't for you. This for a specific type of group of people who already know how I talk and know how I rock. And the person that made that comment don't even fucking know me. Period. Patricia Waller says, it's the madness for me. I'm talking about psychological issues, baby. Ah, man. You could tell them he's he's getting old, you know, and I don't like to blame old age because you got people up in age that's still moving and grooving in their right mind. So that's that man personal business. He need to go get that shit checked out. But nobody is going to believe you if you keep pulling these stunts. You keep pulling these stunts, nobody going to, no, well, shit, you can break that shit up now. Nobody even, 
People really don't take you serious, dog. We didn't take you serious at the Bugetto, and we really don't take you serious now. Period. You just embarrassed our whole... You and them country ass niggas at that podcast. Your little fans. Now, if that podcast studio shut down because they can't pay the rent, you is Ali going to pay the rent for y'all? No, but Nelly got a whole studio where he give people free time. You dumb ass niggas. <laughs> y'all, let me get off of this shit. I'm at home. I'm working from home. Let me get back on my grind, y'all. I just wanted to get on here and share that part of it. Um, because there was a lot of business perks and tips that we could have learned. And I'm so mad that the niggas didn't give Nelly the opportunity to really speak. Because I was I was there to learn some business shit. They was there to joke and play and tell them what Ali said and tell them how Nelly life went. Okay, so, yeah. Y'all have a blessed day. Get, get you some of this good money, baby. Get you some of this good energy, baby. Don't let nothing deter you what you got going on. Keep it pushing. Cut these niggas off early. They're not going to put in the work like you. They ain't going to do the same thing for you. So think for yourself, your family, your loved ones, and people you truly care about. I love y'all and stay blessed.